I got it in there, I pounded it down, I was putting a lot of pressure on it, started to back it out, and it stripped out. So, Hey folks, welcome to the NetCruiser channel. So I'm down here in my little RC pit area, and I'm working on my Armour Typhon, I'm fixing up some stuff. I just put in a new pillow block system, I put in a new uh, GPM aluminum chassis brace. Great part, this GPM brace, happy with that. I've pounded out the chassis, it got right, right torqued from my BMX bashing. Oh. oh, it's still slightly off, but it's much better than it was. It was it was really bent before. It was uh, bent down and on a severe angle, so I've, the chassis could do a little bit more manipulation, but. At this point, it's almost ready to go again, and I ran into one snag. Just as I had powered it on to test it, for some reason my servo is way out of whack now. I don't know if this uh, skipped a tooth or something on a really bad impact. So I got a problem. I wanted to pull off this aluminum servo horn and readjust so I could set all my trims straight and then get a straight alignment on the steering. Because right now it only, uh, it, no, it doesn't turn that way. It only turns to the right and I only get about this much to the left when before it used to go all the way. So something has moved. I probably skipped off a tooth. Maybe, I hopefully I didn't wreck my new Savox servo, but the last time that I showed you something on this car, I believe I was putting in this new Savox servo, the 1256 titanium gear. And I guess I screwed down this screw in the servo horn way too tight because it's completely stripped out. I cannot get it out. So it should be with a two millimeter hex no, it's it's gone. There's nothing nothing to grab onto there. So uh, I talked to some people online locally, and they said, "Oh, try a Torx T8." So I said, "Oh, I think I have some of those." So I went and found a uh, like phone repair case, and I do have a T8. I think it's here. No, nope, PH100. Where's my T8? Here's my T8. So a Torx T8. Now the reason why they suggested Torx is because it has a lot more teeth. You see how it's got the it's like a star pattern. Has, it'll dig in a bit. So this is a T8. A T8 seems to be the most appropriate size, and it almost worked. I got it in there, I pounded it down, I was putting a lot of pressure on it, started to back it out, and it stripped out. So, no, that's not gonna work. That's no good. So I went to town, and I'm on to the next thing that I hopefully might work, so we're gonna try this. This is from uh, Canadian Tire, Mastercraft. It's the Micro Grabbit Damaged Bolt Extractor. So we'll give this a whirl. You need a drill for this, and you run your, from what I gather, I've never used an extractor before, and you run your drill in reverse with the burnishing tool at the bottom, and then you flip it over, and it's got the extraction teeth. I'll show you on the big one, because it'll be able to focus on the big one. They look the same, they're just smaller. Come on, camera. So yeah, gonna try something like this and I'll set the camera up and see if I can capture it. Here's the instructions for the micro grab it. So you're supposed to insert it with the bolt extractor drill end out, set your drill for reverse, uh, use very low speed and apply pressure and then stop drilling out when the widest part of the drill bit is level. That's figure one. So you drill out the head and then figure two is you flip the tool around and the same process and you extract it. Keep the drill in reverse, place extractor in the hole, you use downward pressure, we'll give it a try. Okay, I'm using the grab it number two on my drill and I've got the drill set with no clutching. So I'm assuming that we want it on a drill action. I've got it on the lowest speed number one. So it should be able to go very slow and it's in reverse. Get it down in there. Even I can't see what's going on because the servo horn is so recessed in there, I can't really tell what's going on either. So we'll just go slow. Alright, there's lots of shards and stuff in there and I think... I think we're to the point now where... Going to swap, whoop. <laughs> Can 
Come back. Oh, I dropped it. Okay. So far, I've been drilling from the drill bit side. Right? And now I'm going to use the extraction end. It should just fit down in the hole now that I've drilled out and have enough surface contact where it will bite in and unscrew it. And we're just going to go for it. So, get it down in my hole. I'm going to press down and start screwing out as slowly as possible. Oh, look at that. There we go. I think the head's turning. Yeah, it worked. Totally worked. Look at that. Work like a charm. Got the screw out. Awesome. Well, I guess that's worth the 30 bucks. That's how much this tool cost was $30 and I wouldn't have been able to get it out any other way. This one is the micro sized one. Most of the big ones are too large for RC screws. So this was the micro and I'm using the second smallest. This one was the smallest size here. Awesome. So the screw's out. Now I can pull the horn off and see what happened. Like did it strip my teeth off or what happened here? Hopefully my servo's okay. I gotta clean it up. And then I can start taking a look at the servo horn. All right, we are back in business. Uh, I did take the horn off. Uh, sorry, I forgot to show you. All the teeth on the servo look perfect and the teeth on the horn look perfect too. So I'm confused as to how I even got in this position where it seems to have like shifted. Uh, I, I have no idea how that happened, but now I've got it so that it's straight and it turns properly right and left. Now I just got to find a screw to put in there again because the screw that I have is all stripped out. All right, so thanks for watching. That was the test of the Mastercraft Grab It. <laughs> uh, something I wasn't planning to do, but it's good. It's content, so that's great. Get you guys out a video while I'm working on my big December vlog. I'm calling it big just because of the amount of work I have to do to get it ready. I'm trying to fix all of my RCs. Not that it matters to show you, but it matters to me because I broke almost all of them and then I've been procrastinating on it and I hadn't fixed any of them. So uh, now we're, I got the slashes done, now the Typhon is done, and on to the rest, and the rest of them are fairly minor fixes. So that's it. Thanks for watching. Take care.